r last night she tagged me in one of the videos that I've watched where you t tell them the well it's more of like the word I'm looking for is you build up your courage to not to tell them of your personal feelings and for starters I have a little confession to make so uh, let's begin with what I have to say I grew up in the 90s as you figured out that's just a basics but it's nothing to do with the family I love my family very much sure they were divorced and all that but hey it's always it's a normal life <clears throat> anyway it's nothing to do with that it's school I was different I didn't like cars I'm not a big alcoholic person and I'm certainly not a chap <laughs> I was basically mentally bullied at school and thanks to that it put a scar in here in my head because they called me weird for the past five years more or less and this was in secondary it wasn't in primary everyone was all happy and cheery it was when they got to secondary when you become a teenager and all this it hurt my feelings but see when you're in this special school it's survival of the fittest you have to survive in order to live and all this and I endured so much mental bully in my life that it took a piece of my mind and just turned it into something dark and scary and his name is the same name that I'm using right now as a username Zenshu a lot of people have been asking me have I got well not a lot but some people may ask does Drew ever have does this boy ever have a dark side I did have a dark side and it was not a pleasant dark side basically Zenshu is this entire opposite of me and I was scared because he was the type of character that was in my head that I wasn't that he wasn't created from all my characters are either happy-go-lucky people like Toby but Zenshi was entirely different he was made from the mentally bullied of pain anger and hatred and most of all pain and it's really 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 not pleasant ever since that fight in when I had a first fight at school he came out and the first time I couldn't control it it was scary like literally scary and it triggered a fear that I was worried that if this guy died again I won't be, won't be able to control it he may be roaming around freely killing innocent people from these hands and I couldn't do it I locked him away and every time I get stressed I, I can hear him saying kill him they're not worth it they're pigs and all this and whenever I refuse to cooperate and ignore him he always calls me weak pathetic stupid and all this and I can't help it I'm not the kind of person that fights people or goes off looking for a fight I'm not that kind of person and our people who are friends with me you should understand that I'm not the kind of person I may sound like I'm a tough person like oh yeah and all this but I'm not I'm just a normal boy who just well lad who's just looking to be friends with to accept to be accept who I am but there was one person, one person that saved me, and if it wasn't for her, 
Well, I wouldn't be here talking about it. It was a blessing, a sign that there are other people who don't think of you as a weirdo, freak, all those kinds of negative, negative crap that you endured and all this. She actually saved me, not from the heart, but from my mental mind as well. And I think she'll burst into tears when I say her name, if she's watching this. Kerry O'Neill, also known as Riona, Rinola O'Neill in YouTube. Go subscribe to her as well. She makes good music videos as well. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't be here. I would probably be in a mental home right now, alone, with no friends, no one to help in all this. And since then, I'm starting to gain more awesome friends than, than I get when I was in school. It was the best moment of my life. I think that if the world does end, I'm glad I have friends like her and everyone else. You guys are the best. If it weren't for you, I would, I would have killed myself if it kept going. But you've given me something awesome. You've given me confidence and happiness and love and everything. Oh my god, it's so awesome! I was accepted for who I am because they understand. They too understand how I feel. But you better watch out for those who took advantage of you. Even if you're friends with them, you just have to be careful who you trust. That's basically me. I want friends that they can love and trust and everything. I can do all that kind. I am not a bad guy. Or the evil person. I may act like I'm an evil person because I'm insane and all that. But deep down I'm actually a nice kind lad who trusts you, who talks to you, who listens to your problems, your pain, everything. Because I've experienced that as well. All I'm asking in return is trust, honest, and respect in return. I don't want people who are too stupid to believe in a lie that doesn't, that is not actually true. Because there are a lot of people out there who are falling for those lies. And I'm not going to be there to save them. I only save those who I trust and love the most. So, 627 buddies of mine. If you're watching this, thanks for being awesome to me, for being a family. You are my family now. Not, 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 not personally, for not real that I'm going to go and leave my real family. But you know what I mean. You're, you're a family to me, in my heart. So, thank you, Angel Heart, for every last person that I've known since 2008 and uh, one last thing I want to say <clears throat> tag you're it if you're watching this you've been tagged so you have to stand up get enough courage and tell your fears and paranoids and all this because I've already told mine and if you want to learn more about my mind I have put all about DeviantArt Zenshu18 down here, so you can understand what goes on in my mind. Has it? How did it made this who I am today? Because it's true. Parents create the body. They create it just by combining two DNAs. But it's the mind that creates the personality of you. So leave a video response to tell everyone who you of your personal feelings and your personal fears because this is my quote to be the friend you'll never forget but we're always always remembered through generations to come so that's about it I'm gonna go play Skyrim who's a raw
<laughs> Love me, add me, and subscribe me as a friend. No, I'm going to change that. Subscribe, subscribe me, brother or sister. So, sayonara, people.